Today, I wanted to tell you guys, I made a list, the five things you should never do when making beats. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the video. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to uh, Kyle Beats channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. Welcome back. So today's video, we're in the studio. We're back in the studio. We're making beats. I'm inspired. I'm ready to go. It's lit. I have this guitar sample thing that I'm starting out with. One sixty BPM. See what I can do with it. Let's get into the video. I'm making a beat today. I also want to tell you guys about things that you should never do when you make beats. Things you should not do. These ideas that I thought of have come from just like listening to beats from you guys for the past like almost a year now. Like, cause you guys are always sending me beats, we're always doing contests. But yeah, let's get into the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like these videos. Hope you like the vlog. This lit. Make sure you subscribe. Drop a like. Yada yada yada. Welcome to the video. Let's get into it in three, two, one. All right. So. Um, I have this guitar thing right here. What I'm gonna do is take this Nexus sound and kind of like create my own ARP. Uh, I got the screen recording right now. And uh, just clicking on the notes that I've already played, that I already did the chords with, and just making my own ARP, making it interesting. Maybe I'll put some growth speed on it, whatever, whatever. See what happens. I pitched up a couple uh, notes, pitched up two notes, pitched up everything. The 808s were a little bit too like low, muddy, dirty. I just pitched it up just to make it easier. And uh, yeah, I just like to play, shout out to John Belly and said this exact same thing in one of his beat making videos like a few years ago. A lot of stuff you don't see is me just playing music because it's just amazing when you when you can play along to something that you just created. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, this beat's crazy. I 
I was writing a couple like things down and I kind of have some ideas for a song. I don't wanna really wanna record the whole thing today, but I'm just gonna record my ideas in the microphone. A lot of people do this, I've seen a lot of people do this and I'm starting to do this now. Just like lay out a couple patterns, record the idea I have just for like the hook of what it would sound like and some of the words I'm coming up with and just like the, uh, just recording an idea, I guess. Recording a vocal idea of what it would sound like over it. And then I wanna go into move on to something else. You down me and then, then I let you down. And then, 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 then the same thing I'm going and same thing I'm going and same. Heard it different when I was around. You tagged me in and then I let you down. I can't complain because nothing's the same. Think I'm going insane. Think I'm going insane. I heard it different when I was around. You tagged me in and then I let you down. I can't complain because nothing's the same. Think I'm going insane. Think I'm going insane. Honestly, this part honestly might be like a little bridge or something rather than like the hook or a verse or anything like that. It sounds like a cool bridge into like the verse. Or even like an ending or something. It's just something. Just the idea I had. I wanted to get it down whatever. Alright guys, so I've showed you different things that you should do when making beats. I've showed you different tips, all that stuff. I've showed you tips, tricks, tactics in these vlogs, in these videos. Um, today I wanted to tell you guys, I made a list, the five things you should never do when making beats. They're just things that I've marked down mentally in my head and now I'm putting together like a, a list of five things you should not do, never do, when making beats. So number one is the limiter on the master track. When you first open FL Studio in the master track, usually when you first open FL Studio, there's a fruity limiter on here. Basically what that will do, a limiter and compression just creates a ceiling at zero dB. So whenever you play that first melody, say it's at like negative six dB or whatever you play first, say it's at negative six dB, it will force it to zero dB and then your next sound will have a certain amount of room and then and then once you add like a few sounds the whole thing will just be getting viciously compressed as you continue to make the beat so what you want to do if you happen to have that set up go into your master track which is this track fruity limiter replace and just put it on none or you can go into the top just change your new from template to basic instead of basic with limiter it should come up like that every single time number two this is a big one too for new people starting out making beats just in general try not to have your drums clashing too much obviously if you're going to have a hi-hat it's going to clash with everything if you have the you know what i mean every two steps for example what i what i see a lot of people do is like having their 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 kicks and their claps like clashing like this maybe you can make it work but for the most part try not to have your kicks and your snares and your claps like clashing you know what i mean it's your your kicks and claps should almost like play off each other especially in trap beats another thing the third thing you should never do say you were making a beat right and it was way too loud so i purposely turned up this is like some this is like a melody this is a melody from the jaws kit right here it sounds like this The melody from the Jaws kit, you haven't checked it out, go check it out. I turned it up wicked loud, right? So it's super loud right now. So say if you go into your master track and it's above zero dB right here, it's above zero dB, it's like three, six, and you can hear static too. What you don't wanna do when you're making beats, don't turn your master track down. Leave your master track at zero dB. Just don't don't mess around with it. Like, like if you're getting track stems and you have all your tracks going over zero db and they're all just staticky clashing crazy craziness if you're tracking it out you don't want that so don't turn your master track down keep your master right click reset keep your master track at zero db it's going to help you out it's going to make things easier if you don't know control l sets it to a track set it to a track put it in here turn that volume down that's fine look boom now it's now it's perfect number four going along with that third tip that i just gave when your beat is so loud that there is that static so if we play that again i'll turn it back up turn it the way it was this top thing where it's where it's hitting red and you can hear the static you don't want that like if you're just exporting a beat and there's no static and it's a little bit over zero db and you're just listening to it in the car or whatever whatever like 
who cares? You know what I mean? But if you're if you're trying to get your beats out, you don't want that static. You don't want that static you noise. You don't want it above zero dB. I've been a victim to it before, before I got better at mixing. Um, see how that's like way over, almost like six dB over, and you can hear the static noise like crazy. Like you don't want that. So make sure when you're mixing your beats, mix them on a lower volume, get them below zero dB, and then you can use like compression or limiter or whatever to make them really punch. The fifth thing that you shouldn't do, this is just my personal opinion. This is just my personal opinion. If you're making beats for an artist or for yourself as an artist, and there's gonna be vocals on it, don't do too much. Never do too much. A lot of things that people do is put too much, like put too many transitions in, put too much automation, and you're doing too much stuff where you almost like want to think of it as a canvas. I've said this before, I've used that word before. It's almost like when you see those, you know those coloring books? <laughs> this is the randomest thing ever. Those coloring books where it's literally like there's a picture and it's black and white and all the kid has to do is just color it in. That's how you almost want to make your beat. That's how you want to think that's the best analogy I've ever come up with. You want to make it so simple that someone can just pick up some color pencil Pencils, pick up some crayons and they know exactly what to do because it's all laid out if there's too much stuff going on and too many lines and it's like what color should this be this that this oh this stuff is already colored in I can't even color that in because it's already colored in yada 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 you guys get the idea if there's too many transitions if there's too many drops blah 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 if there's not a good like repetition and it's not consistent like if there's too much stuff going on in your beat and someone can't put vocals over it then you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna win if there's if there's all these just like risers and drops and like and obviously I've done all these things wrong too. That's why I'm telling you this is these are things I've did wrong. That's what I've realized. It's just like the simple things are what people want. And then like you can add post production if you want to in the end. So guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I'm gonna play that beat you guys heard from earlier. I'm gonna play that beat now at the end of this video and then close out the video after you guys see. I'm gonna record my screen. And uh, yeah, it's lit. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yo, Kyle, this is crazy.